Hello and welcome everybody to what's going to be the third instalment in trying to get Anima, the Aeon. Um, so basically what you're going to do here is, uh, this is the Jose Temple Trials. All you've got to do to start off with, there'll be two Jose Spheres in the left and right walls here. All you've got to do is just put them in these little two recesses here, which will eventually activate the door. So I was actually asked, you know, what kind of stuff do you want to see? Um, well, I asked you guys what kind of stuff did you want to see and one of the things was can you show us how to get all the Aeons which I'm planning on doing. Most of them you'll get just by default by going through the story such as this one. Um, whereas some others like for example Yojimbo, the Mega Sisters and uh, Anima you actually have to do special things for. So I'll be showing you the walkthroughs of how to get those. Um, for right now you want to just sort of, uh, you know, well have a look at this uh, little thing because this is going to come important later on. Um, now let me just uh, go to my handy dandy walkthrough here. So if you examine all the illuminate parts of the symbol and beyond the pedestal take one or two Joseph spheres on the wall, holding the sphere walk east to the passage and insert the sphere into one or two walls. So let's just take this one for you know example I suppose. I assume that we just put both of them into this wall over here. I'm pretty certain that's what we do anyway. And that will, yeah, obviously that's going to take the eye away there because these are the things that power that thing over there. I don't want to push that just yet. Um, now what I want to do, I want to put this one in this wall here. That will activate this little electronic pedestal thing. Now, with the Joseph Sphere in the little uh, recess there, you want to push this over into this little gap here, which should power up it, which should power up the sphere into like a super sphere. So if we do that now... And then I believe you can pull this back by stepping on that switch. It won't change anything, it'll just bring that back to there. And there you go, you've got uh, the two Joseph Spheres just as they were. So if you take this superpowered sphere over here and you insert it into this wall, this wall that once had this, which once activated the glyph, because it's superpowered now it should open the door, like so. Now if you go about pushing the pedestal into this little thing here without any Jose Spheres in it, it's going to drop. So what you need to do is just take these two little Jose Spheres out of here real quick, put them in this little pedestal over here, and then once we've done that we'll be pushing it in there so that we can go and get the other little Jose Sphere that we're going to need over there, and uh, we'll go from there. So again, the second one there, just push that in there. And then all we want to do is just push this through this door and it should drop into there and it should float allowing us to jump on it. Just like that. So what you want to do is just walk forward until you jump on that. I'd recommend going from the corner because it's easier. Then you want to push this little pedestal into the wall here which should activate the middle part if I'm not mistaken. There you go, there's the middle eye. So that bit's done, don't need to worry about it, that's fine. Okay, so what we want to do now is you, you want to go back to this little thing here, step on this again, and that should bring our little pedestal back. Don't worry about that one in there because that is going to stay activated, so it doesn't really matter. As for these ones, what you want to do is put them back in this little wall here, which should activate that again. Now the last two things you want is just to take this superpowered sphere, it doesn't really matter that it's super powered now, we only needed that for the door. Right now it's just, you know, you can use it as any normal sphere, so it's absolutely fine. What you want to do is just put them back in these two recesses back in the first room in the wall here, and that should activate the whole symbol, which should turn the pedestal into a lift, which means we can ride it up and continue on to get the secret weapon of, well, the uh, this temple here. So again, just put run back, and insert that into this one. That should activate. And then like I said, it should turn into a little lift area thing here. But before you go on the lift, I just want to quickly show you, now that we've activated this thing, this little glowing thing over here, if you just examine that and touch it, it should open a, pa a passageway which would reveal the destruction sphere, which you're going to need to get the secret item. You don't want to touch that just yet. You want to go up. I just wanted to show you that little room, just you know, for reference. So you wanna you wanna come up here. What you wanna do is just push all these pe all these pedestals into the walls here, and one by one that will activate this little middle uh, circle thing here, which should activate, I believe, another pedestal. 
um, which we will then proceed to put the destruction sphere in from downstairs. You can't actually, I don't believe you can push these uh, if you've got a sphere in your hand, which is why I said to leave the destruction sphere downstairs. But once these are all pushed in, you'll see now that it should activate and give us another little pedestal thing here. Like so. Now that will open the passageway up to the main story so you can continue the main story. Well, I don't want to do that yet, just yet. I want to get back down here and I want to grab that little destruction sphere from this little passageway in here. And then I want to head back up on this little lift thing here. And just insert it into this pedestal here, which should activate the wall, blowing it up, allowing us to retrieve the hidden item, which is one step closer to getting the Aeon Anima. Now check back again for when we do Makalania Temple, and I will be showing you the walkthrough for that as well. And I will see you guys next time. So if you like the video, please like it and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you all next time. So I hope you're all having a great day. And all that's left to say for me is, farewell.